plan. If I pause and quit, and then everything like, turns Just off. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, Devin, you got the power. <laughs> all right, villager. All right, cool. Coca Lamb. First stage. I think actually, uh, Pilgrim has actually been here before. I kind of like recognize the name and the face, even though he does look very similar to Knight. Uh, <laughs> at least, you. you know, in my memory. So I, you know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Hey uh -huh. man, you upload everything, so yeah. like, if you just type in Pokelam on the Hicho 3K YouTube, you'll probably find a video. He's mm -hmm. playing really well right now, too. Made the winner semis of this pool, too. Keeping it to BB. Villager not really changed much from fourth with his jab. What? Uh, Villager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like I haven't seen this matchup since, like, Ganbar and I. Or Renai, whatever. Like the last yeah, it's like the brawl people call Renai by his full name tag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, <laughs> brawl yeah. player. I love his full tag, though. It's pretty cool. Who did he play in brawl? <laughs> Villager, all along. No, I, I actually <laughs> He don't. said villager and brought like bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to say Olimar, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon I'm doing a really good job right now. Uh, right now on that three to one average ratio here of damage. Ooh, what a, what a moment. Couldn't pocket that? All right. Maybe Fire got flight. a little bit too spooked. Cause yeah. like, do, uh, yeah, the vacuum's on. <laughs> he's like, oh God, he's using the shotgun too. <laughs> so activated his room book. The counter is so strong. The oh counter also, like, he has an AoE where, like, he'll just, like, kind of teleport to them. That's actually so spooky. You it's can't block it either, right? Oh, the throw is okay. No, you can block it. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, yeah. No, you, like, like, Shulks is actually unblockable. That one <laughs> yeah, is blockable. Yeah, Shulks is <laughs> But, uh, like, that move is, like, hella fast as opposed to what it was, like, in previous iterations. Now it's, like, it, like, slows you down, too. So, you know, it, it even if you do block it, it's hard to block it. Now, from what I'm noticing for this matchup, like, Villager can do a good job of keep away and, like, getting his hits and follow-ups. Like, yeah. Not, just not be in danger against this character. Plus, he can pocket the, the Aura Sphere. It's, like, one of the most threatening things about this character. Yeah. And Vivi has to, like, put himself in there with the hits just to, like, get some damage in. That, too. Ooh! Oh. Like, overall, this would just be, like, a bad matchup for Lucario, but... If Vivi's patient enough and... No follow up, that's gonna be it. No, okay. Wow, that's actually he really. He mashed out. Nice. Like, did he do that on purpose? The mash out? No, no, no. The fact that when he shielded it, when he shielded that, that, like, oh, I'm gonna do down smash to ground you because you won't fall off the ledge on the platform, so you'll just be right <laughs> next to me. That was a Tom and Jerry Yo, kill right there. He the just like, ball off the top. He actually <laughs> just cracked his dome. <laughs> like, his whole dome piece is gone. It's just a walking body. It's like fatality. <laughs> look up. This is funny to me. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Vivi's gonna have to change something up if he wants to take this game or the set. Because clearly, like he's not. he's gotta get like this damage in. Like yeah. follow ups like this, just like not let him like run away with these forward airs and back airs. Because that's like, he's using to keep away. Yeah, and he's just like mostly not aware of like how he's getting how he's getting killed. So like if he just like you know plays a little bit safer around him. Maybe it'll be better, but you know, that's the thing. Getting, like, you need to get in on him. Like, you have to kill him, and like, you can't be too willy nilly with projectiles, because like, pocket. <laughs> you, can't, you can't. You just can't shoot him. So you just gotta like do some slick movement, be reverse, whatever you can, just to, like put yourself in there. But Lucario, I would I wouldn't say Lucario is fast enough to do it. He just has to like know not to get stopped by the forward airs. Pokemon has some really great stage awareness. The up oh wow, he trapped him with that. That was amazing. He's like, oh, are you just gonna block that? Nah, <laughs> you're just gonna jump on this turnip and die. He played that sound like perfectly. Okay, so let's see what Pokemon Lamb's gonna get rid of. Very impressive. FD? VV is PR, yes. Interesting. And uh, Town. <laughs> He's just getting all these fist bumps. It's like, yo, let's go, Pokemon. Hey, you take game one. Must not got the whole crew, like, <laughs> it's cheering for him. Like, He's like, where do I go? He's like, where's my fans? They're going, oh, I think Smashville? <laughs> He's hovering. Now I'm on my toes, but okay. Now, 
Vivi could pull out a pocket character for this too. Just what, in like Incineroar? Okay, no, just no, going Incineroar. back. No, I mean, that's his pocket character. What, like default call in Lucario? Mewtwo, he could, you could pull out the Mewtwo maybe. Oh, that's true. Mewtwo could work. Mewtwo has like, a better time going in. But now nah, he's sticking to his guns with Lucario. He's like, I can figure this out. Just don't let it snowball like the last game, and I'll definitely figure this out. Alright, there you go, Ruby. Getting his follow ups in. Quick 20%. He's gotta like duck in and out there. Just know that Villager is very vulnerable when he pulls out that Lloyd rocket. And he has to like keep away with the forward airs and back airs. They are his, uh, his combo tools, his neutral tools. Alright, both are playing a lot closer this time compared to the last game where we got kind of steamrolled. Pretty evenish this game. Oof. Yeah, I'm really surprised that the, the pocket's not really coming out from Pokéland. Like, you could easily like, pocket some of the stuff just get like some follow-ups, but I guess he chooses not to. I think, well, no, you're right. Like, BB has to be careful when he's, like, shooting any projectiles to make sure that, that nothing gets pocketed. So, like... Ooh, that was so cool. Oh, oh my god. If he would have waited, like, at least a second, he would have gotten back killed. I mean, you saw that BB went up, up and towards him instead of, like, trying to sneak past him. So he, he, he went to, like, hit him, like... Yeah. At, like, a, like a weird, like, John Madden angle. He's drawing a big circle on the map. Oof, these walls of forward airs are back airs and stuff. But quite impenetrable. With the throw, too. Oh, he's got the tree up again. We're seeing again, like. Oh, oh right there. Covered the ledge get up. Oh, Vivi does my God. Not, Vivi's definitely struggling in this matchup. He's not really sure what to do. Uh, every time, like, after that first stock, he was keeping things pretty even, but when you just had a perpetual deficit. You know, the game is going to end and you're going to lose. <laughs> like he's at that point where it's like he doesn't like really know how to get in on this villager, so he's like taking damage Yeah. from like Lloyd Rocket trades or a situation where you just want to get hit. Because like villager is definitely like an OD keep away character and like I don't know if it was a good idea to go back to Pokemon Stadium. The stage is really big and like those platforms like just let him retreat to a spot. The counter front. Oh, did not kill. Not kill yet. No rage. Did he like run into that to try and counter it, or maybe he just messed up? Happens. Probably messed up. Maybe he didn't think that he'd be faster than the Lloyd <laughs> Rocket. It's like, wow, I actually got hit by this from behind, huh? Ooh. Oh, that oh, the pocket. Okay, yeah. I like that VV is like opting, like when he's choosing to pick the uh, shoot the projectile is when like Pokelam's actually committed to something. So it's just like, oh, you went for the gyroid? Well, uh, I'm going to shoot this while you're in the cooldown of that. Nice smash shot. Nice. Ooh. All right. Able to turn that around. It's, it's just getting the percentage to get the lead back here. It's the problem right now. Because he's fresh off a new stock. Not panicking. Just keeping his patience. Putting that rocket out there. One of the banes of this matchup for the DB. Oh, getting the upbeat. That narrow out of shield is also very fast, too. Oh! Ooh. It's like, where are you going, son? <laughs> oh, right on him again. Maybe he's got to go in. This magic Lucario power sells so for. <laughs> he's putting rocks on his head, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is harsh. This is very harsh. I remember, like, in Smash 4, the car used to be, like, in a lot of end lag whenever he did that LP like that, but I guess they yeah. fixed that. Yeah, it's really good. We need to pick a spot right here. The counter's a good tool to go in with, but... Yeah, Pokemon's very prepared to block it and, like... Yeah, there's, there's, like, also the fact that, like, anytime you're, like... If your gameplay is gonna 
circle around countering, then you're putting the other player completely in control of when those encounters happen, meaning the counter becomes like less potent. Like the whole point of counter is to like disrupt their flow. But like he's like, bro, I'm gonna shoot out this projectile. Uh, counter it if you want. I'm like, I'm over here though. And like we haven't seen any oh kill happen from it. That was almost like really close off of like a free stock for Poke Lab. Like Poke Lab's like so in control where you can just go for sick reads like that. What Vivi needs right now is like probably a little more percentage to himself so he can build like Anubis Rage Lucario yeah, so then he can like kill him in like two hits, but that's risky. Yeah, that's always And he always has a minute left. Double edged so sword there. A minute and forty uh, some seconds right. left. Blast him. Oh that's Oh, that was close. That was very close. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, Villager projectile, like, at least the Lloyd Rocket, you know, it's, like, completely independent of Villager. Like, it doesn't even start moving until after Villager's, like, back into an idle state. So, like, he is free to do all of his options, you know? And, yeah, like, it doesn't even have a hitbox until it starts moving. Oh, there it is. That back air that he needed. Okay. He gets, like, a one close range. Oh, the air. Pokemon's like pushing a little bit with these smash attacks. These roll ins, too. Gotta be careful. Maybe he could kill you off with two hits. That's not a lot of hits. <laughs> He's prepared to take this game. The tree! Oh! We definitely have 40 seconds left on the clock. So you get timeout so bad. Oh, the forward smash! Oh be careful. God. Be <laughs> very right. careful. Was that, that was the first hit. Now he's yeah. got to get the second hit. The counter! No, the throw! That's not going to go. Okay. He's in the wrong side for that. Oh, the oh up Oh, my God. That was really scary. The counter again. One thing I've been noticing that Pokemon has not been blocking these uppies. Oh, that time he got the Lord Rack. Oh, God, the throw. Very scary. He pocketed it. He pocketed it. Did he? Yeah, I heard the, the noise. The back air! Oh my god. What a turnaround. Th those are the two hits, Devin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you. You're definitely right. Oh, man. Vivi is uncomfortable. He's just like, oh, what a rush. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> All right, so what are we getting rid of? Oh, nothing in his pocket, though. No. Okay. Oof. Oh, I forgot they added that in the game. where they, You could just see the icon where you just... Yeah. Yeah, my fault. All right, so we're it's going okay. to we're going to Kalos. I don't I don't really see villagers that often. So. Vivi's just on tour. He's just like just got made the comeback of my life. <laughs> Round one. I'm gonna like that tweet too. He's just like, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> You've got some uh, Poke Lamb fans, Poke fans yeah. in the chat right now. <laughs> like in the chat, in person, they're all fist bumping them too. They want the yeah, boy dude. to win. <laughs> they're like, uh, it's like, you got this, Mr. President. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vivi's homies are all in like Final Fantasy XIV online, waiting for him to show up home. <laughs> they're all in the car. <laughs> it's just like, come on, Vivi. <laughs> we gotta go on a raid. <laughs> God. <laughs> Vivi won the come back in situations like that. He's playing the comeback kid character over here. Yeah, definitely. Like, that was very close on him just, like, adapt to the situation of the character and, like, you cannot, take him to it. You cannot stop Furry Goku. <laughs> the furry Goku is strong with the laser beams. And the back airs. Taking control of game three over here with the Percentage lead too, but it's in control, like not yeah. really falling for like the forward airs and the back airs that he was getting hit by before. Yeah, no, this is definitely like a different approach uh, VV's uh, added to his game. And like we saw before, like the beginnings of both game one oh and two. Oh my god. <laughs> like Pokemon was in the damage lead, like in a like two to one, three to one ratio uh, of damage. So now the tables have turned for this game three. You really see that the adaptation that VV has made is really turning out uh, pretty good for him. Yeah, uh, po like Pokemon looks like he's doing the same thing from game one and two. There's also oh. the fact that we're not on Pokemon Stadium this time. Oh, he didn't kill him. So he doesn't have like those, you know, those platforms at the three-quarter range on both distance to like 
uh, set up as his home base. Like, the platforms being outside are very different because you no longer control center That's stage. Do it. Okay. Work. I actually... Uh, you see how fast he built that tree? So, this was Pokeland's counter pick, right? So, I yes. guess it was... Uh, you know, that's definitely one thing to consider. You know, a character like Lucario, the way he recovers uh, on a pillar stage like this, you know, the bowling ball is going to do a really good job of just like, it's like, yeah, th this whole zone, not for you. <laughs> that was a lot different with the platform layout and stuff, but Villager's still pretty good here. Like, yeah, and like, you have. The fireball's going to take it. That's the first time I've seen it, like, use the kill. Yeah. Whole set. Like now, like BB has to be careful about like wall clinging over there. Like those are things that like uh, Lucario can use to like stall things out. But because of the nature of Villager F Smash, Tree F Smash, like all these things, yeah, you could put on the ledge. It's like you'll it's mad be like, things right, be you're, falling. You're, you're guaranteed to die now. Thank you for playing. Shake my hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's very impressive too. Like Pokelam was showing like he was doing like. Uh -oh. Sort of similar stuff, but then he still kept going at it because, like, this is gonna work eventually. Sent Vivi off stage, got that first stock, and now he's like in complete control right now. But still, Lucario, you could die in two hits. I like <laughs> that uh, Vivi's being a little bit more liberal with his uh, aura sphere shots. Like, I guess he's you know, maybe he's like better reading Pokelam's movement, so he saw that, like, in that position where he shot it, uh, he had committed to a dash. And it's like, yes, committing to a dash is less of a commitment in this game, but, you know, it is still a commitment nonetheless. So, like, if you get it at the very start, you know, there's still nothing they can press. Does Villager not get that little piece of wood anymore from the tree? I'm pretty sure the wood still randomly happens. Oh, it's random? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's always been random. Oh, okay. You know, there's actually a random chance that it can actually drop fruit. Oh, yeah, heal. I remember that. It's, like, super, it's, like, really, really rare. I remember when I first saw it, it blew my goddamn mind. <laughs> I was like, did, did he just heal? <laughs> All right, and now... The side be reached. Like, you know, Pokemon with a near 100 damage lead here, and both on their second the stock. Axe. Oh, like, that was so close. If he plays the slow game, which it seems that he is... The pocket, oh, there it is. He's got no. it. He's got it on lock. He's going to throw that mad fast. Oh, All there's right. the turn of... Okay, this is... This is a really bad situation for Vivi. But a really good one for Pokelam. <laughs> Pokelam is going to be like, so oh it's man. So it gets the boost from Pocket. It was an extra large Aura Sphere from like 140 damage. And be and Villager like doesn't have any like startup really. He just like kind of shoots it out. I, I could imagine he'd do it like right then and there. Like, right there. Like I they down throw it in the pocket. He like, might. He could have killed There it is. Yeah. There it is. There it is. He was saving it for the right moment. So, yeah, good job, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have my coffee at six. <laughs> wow.